Hello to our community group leaders. This is our teaching series extra video for the week of May 21st, 2017. We're still in the teaching series, uh, The Bible in 10 Words, and the word for this week is the word river. And the way I'm going to apply river in the message this morning is in two ways, and this might lead to a little bit of discussion in your community groups. River in the Bible is a representative of God's blessings. Uh, we see that in the Garden of Eden. In fact, the description in Genesis chapter 2 is as the river branched out, there were riches, God's blessing. God wants to bless humanity and have us experience and live in His richness. And so it may be a great discussion question just to go around the room and say, how has God richly blessed your life? Be careful about slipping into materialism because we tend to think in terms of incomes and jobs and all of that is the blessings of God. But the greatest blessings of God are the immaterial blessings of God, such as love and relationships and, and those sort of things, those, those things that money can't buy. So river represents the blessings of God, but rivers also represent in the Bible a beginning again. Uh, you see this when the Israelites go into the promised land, they cross through the waters. Uh, we see this uh, as Jesus advocates and commands baptism. It's a chance to begin again, uh, not only in a new physical life as in the Old Testament, but in a new spiritual life. So I have sitting beside me, and I can't show the whole thing to you, but I have just finished restoring an old antique uh, tool chest. The lid is cracked, and in fact it's its, its ruggedness that adds to the, the luster of it. This chest is probably a hundred years old, but I've given it a new beginning. I've given it a new purpose. And sometimes we go through life where we're dinged up, we're damaged, uh, but Christ gives us a new beginning, and that is often symbolized, that's captured in that significant moment of baptism. So I would also encourage in your community groups, go around and share about that time that God has given you a new beginning. Maybe it was the time that you were offered that forgiveness of sins and a restored relationship with God uh, as you came to Christ. But there are other moments where God offers us a new beginning, either with a marriage or the birth of a child or a new job or a new opportunity, and to appreciate those new beginnings as coming from the hand of God. Thanks so much for leading with me in our community groups. I hope you're enjoying this teaching series. I am uh, the Bible in, in 10 words, uh, and this week is River, and may you experience the blessings and the beginning again that's offered in Christ and the gospel. God bless you. Thanks so much.